What's up, gearheads? We're here to give you exactly what you've been asking for. It's freezing cold as yes. me and Zan are. It's, it's starting to uh, tuck into the winter season. Um, we had to get some spicy uh, hot Mexican food to warm my bellies before our day started. So uh, here we are. Um, I guess it's an afternoon now, but you can hear something in the background. I think it's something maybe you guys have been asking for for a while. And <laughs> I'm super jacked because uh, we got a lot of things coming up for this season and this is just just the, just the cherry on the top and so you can hear it idling it's uh it's it's not a smaller engine it's a slightly bigger engine so you kind of have to let them warm I think, up so I think you just like to bring your phone closer so you can let them hear it can you, you want to hear a little closer it's it's quiet now it's almost operating temperature there you go so you got a clip Hopefully you can hear a little bit. <laughs> so we're on the back half of our garage here. So we're going to go scoot around the other side. So we're going to show you the deal today. Um, I'm going to tell you how much we paid for it. Crazy deal. I can't even wrap my head around it. I, you can't even buy a car in Singapore for that price. There's no chance. No, never, no, no, never, ever. Not even it's one that dream to get half a car. But today we were going to unveil this awesome SUV and uh, we're very excited to show you what oh, it so is. Oh, what it was? Kind yeah, of. they kind of know there was an SUV already. Okay. So, well, you, you can tell by the shape. It's not a car. I mean, it could have been a van. Well, it could have been a van. I'm not that lame. No, I love vans though. What am I talking about? No, I love vans. It's not a vans, minivan. Vans are good. It's not a minivan. So, um, yeah, Zan will stay here because Zan's going to pop it open here. And I'm going to go get the garage door key and we're going to open it from the other end. But you come with me and Zan will go that way. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Come with me, guys. So here it is. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see. So the vehicle is behind there. I am so, so jacked to be able to show this with you. I have really, I know you guys have been waiting for a while. Um, so without further ado, let's unveil the new project vehicle. Da, 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 da. She just fits into the garage. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a 2001 Ford Explorer Limited Edition in a jet black with gold pinstriping, 16-inch aluminum wheels, and a beautiful Asian behind the wheel. It has power everything, uh, minus the fact that some things are unaccessible. So, what we're gonna do is for the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how much we paid. I'm going to show you exactly what it all comes with. But if you already know that, then just skip on to the next video and we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. So for everybody who's decided to stick around and watch this video, you get all the juiciness. Um, you get all the details. There's Shazan again, of course. Um, but this thing has a lot of issues, but because it was such a, a good core, a good shape to start with, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great project. Uh, t tires are actually nice and decent, uh, you know. Although they're motor masters, so they're not very high end. You know, we do have scratches and stuff, so it looks like it's done a little bit off roading. But you know, it's got the limited aftermarket wheels. It's got tint on the back there, so it's you know not completely stock looking. It's got a roof rack. It's got a roof rack. So, you know, I did notice that this thing has the clear marker lights because I know that some of them don't have. So that might be a limited edition sort of thing. And Zam will show you that it got it power everything. It even has this cool center console. Don't mind the mess, that's kind of how we got it. It's got an aftermarket stereo and I even think it has XM radio. Is that right, Zam? Yes, it does. XM radio, so we got a module that does that. And the coolest part, I think, because the Fusion doesn't have, is it has four-wheel drive. So we'd be doing all sorts of cool off-road and stuff, but it has power everything. Power seats, uh, leather interior. Let's see if I can open the back seat for you. Oh, power locks. Ha ha ha. Okay, so this is how we got it. We didn't really clean up anything much. Um, so currently, there are no major rips in the seats, which I'm so, so excited about because it's so hard to take care of leather seats. And you know, they're very plush. It's, it's, it's nice, really good condition. Um, currently, the back doesn't uh, 
open. So I'm having to try to figure out a way to open up the door. The glass opens, so there's two separate doors. And uh, so that part's okay. Um, now for rust, weirdly enough, this is the only spot in the vehicle um, has major rust issues, which is really great. I mean, look, the door sills are really nice and I don't know, did Ford just use a little more aluminum or what? And uh, yeah, it came with actually a lot of cool stuff. Like there's actually a little jack kit. I think you can just undo that and you can actually just pull this open. Let's see, can I do it? Ta-da! Yeah, like a built-in bottle jack. And I think it came with like a little pair of gloves in there too. I think I saw an Explorer commercial from like 2000s. And you know, look at that, no major tears, you know, just dirty. And so I thought it was such a good steal. I mean, good glass. Oh man, is that such a hard thing to find in Alberta, is a vehicle that's this age that has the, like all good glass. There's not a crack, there's not nothing. No cracks in the windshield, so you tell it's definitely not from Alberta, which it was not. And look, you know, besides the fact that yes, she is leaking coolant, that is an issue we have to address. Um, and it doesn't have heat because it's heater core is gone, but uh, that's all minor stuff when it comes to a project vehicle because we know how to do that sort of stuff. And if we don't, we definitely know who does. So, Zan, let's pop that hood and see what's under there. All right, Zan, show us what's under that hood. Ugh. There you have it, folks. The four liter single overhead cam V6 engine from Ford, naturally. Um, I think it came stock with like 215 horsepower or 200 actually it had more didn't it it had it had slightly more i think i think the f-150 with a 4.2 had 205 and i think this one came with more than the 255 because the fusion came with 240. yeah i, I think, think so I think yes 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 so 255 horsepower correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below um but you know what it runs great it was a little cold look great battery Everything is good, not a whole lot of leaks, just that coolant leak, so maybe she needs a new rad. And uh, he gives all the details here on the front, tells me I've got the 4 liter single over at cam, and it also came with a 5 liter V8. That was the one we were hoping to get, but there is a lot of issues with head gaskets and whatnot. So that being said, we decided to pick this one up on Kijiji. Once again, another Kijiji great buy. Now the most important part is the features in the vehicle, uh, what are some plans that we have for it, and how much did we pay for this beast. Yes, it has a lot of issues, but you know what? I see like one small crack in the dash, I see all these power options, and I think like even a six disc CD changer, like how cool is that? Only if I can, oh there we go. Like, you guys remember these? Like these were awesome. Like if you had a vehicle that had the six-day seat changer, it was like premium. Look at seat and size is like an eight track. Luxury. Luxury, right? So this is a 2001. Um, the other one we were looking at was a 2004. I think it was a four, and it came with the five liter V8. But the guy didn't get back to us in time. And this gal that sold us this one, um, this one came from Victoria. So. The first thing I was concerned about is coming from Victoria, um, maybe have problems with salt and um, maybe problems with rust. But I crawled under the vehicles, I checked everything you should check. Um, I made sure to take it for a test drive, make sure the 4x4, everything works. Um, there might be an issue with the linkage that engages um, the 4x4 for 4 high. So we might have to look into a solenoid or some sort of linkage. Maybe it's mechanical. Everything was pretty simple this day and age, so um, I don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue. Um, the interior resembles a lot of the, uh, the F-150. So I like to say 97 through 2003, I think. That's around the same time that these body styles all look kind of generally the same. Um, but here, let's take a look around here. I'll show you the features. So check this out so we can actually Open the crack it open, right? You know, the fuse doesn't have this because it's not a titanium. So, I love the fact that I have a sunroof and it works great. Summer driving. Summer driving, absolutely. Road trips, central. Oh, we got stuff flying out, leaves. We got leaves. Okay, so look, we got like all your audio controls. We got the garage door openers. We got a JVC head unit. This control here is pretty cool. So, it actually shows shows all these like you can go metric, it beeps each time, your range, fuel status, 
18 liters of empty. We put gas in it before we parked it, of course. Okay, so look, I can check the oil life. That's good. Oil life left, 8%. Okay, cool. But super nice, right? I mean, you got kind of like all your heater controls here and nothing really works currently. AC, cold, very cold AC, especially when, when it's colder weather. But uh, look, it's got nice fold seats. These things fold actually, fold right down. So that's really cool. Roof liner is nice. I think Zan says she knows it was a little damp on this part, so I'm starting to think maybe there's a little bit of leakage on the sunroof, so we'll have to look, look at that about a seal. But, um, the right? You actually got like embroidered seats, right? So it was actually limited on that. And so this sort of stuff is repairable. I think you can actually get leather dye and just recolor that, the gray, and it actually fix up nice and then rejuvenate it with uh, some more uh, oil, you know, oil rejuvenation kits. Um, it currently has 301,238 kilometers. It is old as you know what, <laughs> but it's got all these cool features, right? And I think if I can show you, look, it's got heated seats and like a little kidney bolster. Well, I thought it was pretty funny. Well, the cigarette lighter here, I don't know, Zan's gonna watch out because she knows what it does, but you know, these things were in every vehicle back back in the day and um except i don't remember any of them doing this oh what's it gonna do there it is and <laughs> melting your interior there you go light your smokes guys and you got this cool wood grain but obviously we got guys that do hydro dipping so that will be changed for sure um and it smells like burning hair in here now so that concludes uh, that concludes all the features. I mean, like I said, we've got lots of kilometers, but me and Zan love it. And I know you guys don't get to see a lot of Zan. Zan is always behind the scenes. So I, I, I try to drag her into all the videos and stuff we do. And uh, you'll see more of her. We also have some cool projects coming up. So we really hope you guys continue to follow the channel. Um, but I haven't forgot. I've told you how much I paid. So hold tight. And I'll tell you near the end of the video. So just give me a minute. But I want to thank you guys because a lot of the stuff that's been happening in the channel lately uh, is causing it to grow really quick and um, I really love it and I really appreciate you guys and me and Dan appreciate you guys so much. Uh, we love doing all the cool photo shoots and stuff like that uh, with all the local cars and stuff that we've been seeing and, and uh, getting ourselves involved with in the car clubs. Uh, we got a bunch of new sponsors. Um, so shout out to our new sponsors that just started with us. That's the, um, the Trucks of Canada, all the guys there. They have a huge, huge group all throughout Canada. So we're really excited to work with them. And then um, also DecoWorks. Uh, Scott at DecoWorks has agreed to be our sponsors. And so uh, the, basically he's going to work with us on getting us good decals for uh, all our customers. And also we're going to be doing some vinyl on this vehicle and on the Fusion. So. Just because we're doing this one doesn't mean things stop happening on a fusion. We still have lots of plans. There's still things to go. Like any project, it's an ongoing thing. So keep staying tuned to the channel and you'll just keep getting more and more content. And I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, as for our sponsors, the third one we've welcomed on is Brad from Red Dog Fabrication. And Brad is going to be doing some crazy cool stuff to this Explorer. And I'm so happy that now I actually get to talk about it being an Explorer. But the most important part of this video is how much did we pay for this thing? We only paid $500 for this vehicle. And in my entire life of owning vehicles, I've only owned two other vehicles that have been in that same price range. Before the YouTube channel all started, I you know, had a lot of vehicles, which I would have loved to share with you guys, but you know, things happen for a reason. And uh, really hope you guys come along with us on this new adventure we're going. Um, we are headed out to Osaka, Japan, uh, come December 9th. I'll be headed out there to meet Zan. Zan's going a little sooner because she is needed at the media company that she's working with in Singapore um, called Entry Media. Entry Media does a lot of cool corporation stuff and uh, they do a lot of um, broadcasting type of stuff, yeah, right? Events, yeah. events, yeah, video shoots, editing, that sort of cool stuff. And uh, so we're going to be headed over there in December to Osaka, having a vacation with Zan and her family. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after that, on the 28th, no, 3rd, 23rd, 23rd, we head to Singapore from Japan. And then we're going to be in Singapore for majority of this winter. And so stay tuned for the next video um, uh, where we talk about uh, what exactly we're going to be adding to this because she will not look at all like this. <laughs> 
I would say like one year's time from now. Oh, yeah. You know, she'll look completely different. Uh, we got some cool suspension that we're looking into. Um, she's most definitely getting a lift kit, so you can look forward to getting that. And so, yeah, it's going to be a blast. I hope you guys enjoy all the videos and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into that. And uh, we'll check you on the next one. Take care, guys.